Hi, in this video I will show you how to configure the the curtain controller. As you can see here we have two channel curtain controller in our network. Uh, we can open it, we'll just have a look. It's very simple, uh, the curtain controller is very simple to use. Uh, as you can see here we can uh, uh, see the some the device configuration, uh, let's see information as well like uh, the part numbers of it, the submit ID and device ID, we can put some names of it like uh, the um, kids room, kids room uh, curtains, let's see. We can also put the same mark as it, we can change the ID if we want to change. So it's all the devices as you can see it's a similar, uh, if you go through the other videos you can see that all of them are similar as the information they want. Uh, let's see when I go to configuration. The configuration is very simple. Uh, now I'm loading. As you can see here, I have a channel number 1, 2, 3, and 4. So this channel, we can put a remark. Uh, for each channel, like this is uh, curtain curtain up. If I connect this to curtain up, this one is a curtain down. Oh, why uh, Blind up down, rollers up down, curtains open close. So whatever. Uh, you want to name this uh, two channel here. We have the second channel is for another motor. If two channels are up down, the second one are for another motor. You can see like uh, uh, roller uh, as well up. Uh, we can change it, and here we can say roller down. As you can see. So here we can see that there is some small configurations here. There is a running time, switch on delay, off delay. The running time, you always calculate how long your curtains, motors take to go up and take to go down. So normally we, we, we calculate that based on uh, uh, the time. Uh, let's see, I have this motors are take 30 seconds to go up and 30 seconds to go down or to open and close. So first of all, I have to configure each channel like this channel the the switch running time is 30 seconds when i press up it takes 30 seconds and goes off to stop the motor so here there is a delay and and uh, delay on and delay off that's meaning uh, just for a protection if you want when you press it takes some time to turn on and turn off so normally you use zero so when i press the curtain start on and off up and down as well so as you can see this is the running time it's very important to put the running time, uh, uh, by default it came around uh, 15 seconds, uh, so you always uh, put it based on, on your curtains, the length and the weight or whatever uh, uh, time the curtain takes to open and close. Uh, when you complete this process here, you just put this switch timing here and all and you name your channels or whatever, uh, you can just save whatever you, you change, uh, you need uh, change, you can exit. You can go to the DLP and it's very simple, you can go to any uh, uh, key of the DLP, like the first page. You can come here and say, when I press the first button, it has to go to the, the curtain modules. Uh, curtain modules, as you can see here, the, the ID of this curtain module kids room is 125, as you can see here. So I just have to tell him, go to 125, 125 go to curtain switch it asks me the parameters which channel you want to control I want the channel 1 and it asks me do you want to open 1% 2% 3% or 40% or whatever so percentage uh, uh, how it count this percentage is based on the timing you have uh, fit so this is 100% of your time this is 50% of your time 60% of your time so this percentage is based on uh, your time divided in percentage. So if you put, uh, uh, you want the curtains to open in 50%, uh, 
so it goes here to 50% means the half of that time running time uh, we can say open or on uh, on means it open and say save so the same things we can do for the other buttons you can see also here it mentioned 115 so you can put 125 here can create channel number one So now I have in these two buttons here, I have up and down. So when I press button number one is up, button number two is down. If you want to do a stop, you can select another third button and you can also select it as stop. You can put 25, here can create number one, stop. So it stop the channel or it stop the curtain. That's how we configure the curtain. Uh, the second thing that the new switch has been added if you would like to control the curtains from single buttons one button only you can use our universal switch built-in universal switch it's called uh, a curtain universal switch that is 254 254 on whatever you use this universal switch it triggers in a sequence up stop down stop up stop down stop in a circle so always use this universal switch if you have just one button and you want to uh, control the curtains up and down and stop. Uh, this is the new feature uh, being added to our curtain control model. Uh, that's it about curtain model. Thank you for watching. Uh, please, if you have any uh, comment or uh, suggestion, uh, just please uh, uh, send it on the email below. Thank you for watching.